Azure is Pleasure, DocuSnap does inventory Azure now for quite a while. And now we finally added the Office 365 inventory into DocuSnap and it's awesome. So go and check it out. As you probably might know, DocuSnap does inventory exchange for quite a while now. And with the uh, great feature of the Microsoft Graph, we now are able to inventory Office 365 as well. In order to do this, you will need a global admin in, in your Azure inventory uh, and your Azure AD. And of course, you need the latest DocuSnap edition that you can download on www.docusnap.com. You can also find a lot of resources and information on our how-to section and on our what's new pages. Now, let's first of all uh, prepare the Azure inventory in order to inventory it with DocuSnap. So, follow me. So, this is the DocuSnap dashboard and uh, first of all I need the Azure inventory or the uh, Azure Active Directory where I find a tab in Manage where I can register applications and that's just what I want to do. First of all, you will need to register a new application and the name here is absolutely arbitrary. That means you can choose whatever you like. I am here using DocuSnap Office 365 and the application type is Web, web App API. Now the sign-on URL is important. That is the www.docusnap.com. First of all, you need to do the HTTPS. My bad, there you go. And now I can confirm and create. While my Azure is uh, saving this app registration, I can take my time and create a new notepad file in order to write down my relevant credentials. That's gonna be the application ID, the um, uh, Azure Directory ID as well as the secret key. After successfully uh, registering an app, I can copy the application ID and I also need to register some new keys. I'm just gonna save the app ID real quick here. And now I'm creating a key. The key description again is quite arbitrary. Let's choose Office 365 like that. The duration is relevant to be one year and once you click save, you will get a value. Once the key was uh, created successfully, please keep in mind to copy it straight away. You won't be able to retrieve it after you leave this blade. Of course, the key shall also be saved here. Next, we need to confirm and actually find out the required permissions. I can do that by selecting the API access. Next thing is that I need to add an API. That's gonna be the Microsoft Graph API. Now, after selecting the Graph API, I also need to select the uh, exact permission and that is going to be read directory data. There you go. I again confirm that with done and Azure adds the relevant permissions to this app. Once the uh, required permissions are confirmed, we need the directory ID and we can find that one in the properties section and there you can copy the directory ID. There you go and you can copy the directory ID and paste it of course as well into the uh, notepad here. And once we got that, we are almost done for uh, setting up DocuSnap to inventory Azure in Office 365. Of course, we value the mighty, almighty PowerShell just as much as you do. And you can also use a PowerShell commandlet to actually set up all the relevant permissions and the uh, app registering. But um, you will find this in the DocuSnap tools section in our script and of course in the relevant how to, you get the exact description how to set up this commandlet. Switching back into our DocuSnap dashboard, you will find the Office 365 inventory wizard in the section cloud services. I am selecting that here. First of all, of course, I can select a company or create a new one. Next is 
that I need to select a domain. That is important because this, of course, evaluates the correct structure within the Data Explorer of DocuSnap. And the next thing is that I have to create a new Office 365 app in DocuSnap or register it actually. Now, first of all, we need the directory ID. We have this here and paste that as well as the application ID and of course the key, the secret key. Once that's done, I am of course confirming with save and I get sometimes a dialogue that would ask me whether I have the relevant permissions. Here is the dialogue and of course I would want to grant this approval as an admin by confirming with yes, uh, it will jump into my browser, in this case into my uh, Internet Explorer and I need to sign in and confirm. I will get this uh, request dialog and of course I accept this sign in. Okay. Switching back into DocuSnap, I can now confirm with save and I, as you can see, have the correct stage in my summary as well. And the last step is always the scheduling that we do very dearly recommend because it helps you to have a contemporary and up-to-date documentation. Now by starting, I will see that this job has been added to the queue and you will just give it a short amount of time that DocuSnap can inventory your Office 365. You will get a balloon pop-up once that is completed and of course you can now select the Office 365 snapshot in the domain that you added while inventorying. And here you will find the snapshot with users, groups, licenses, and already a report. Of course, this will help you a lot by actually distributing the contacts in your organization. And of course, you want to have a complete inventory of all the things. That's your quick and easy way to inventory Office 365 with DocuSnap. We hope you like what you see and of course stay tuned on our What's New section on DocuSnap.com. Check out our Facebook, our Twitter. We upload on YouTube as well. And of course we have a very carefully selected how-to section. Of course, DocuSnap, we understand IT and thanks for watching.